By the end of this video, you'll learn how to use Salesforce Education Cloud and AI to help struggling students graduate. Getting a degree can be really tough for students. In fact, more than a third of them say they need more well-being resources than they're getting. But it's tough for advisors too. With their caseloads, they have to advise hundreds of students at a time, and of course, they never wanna overlook somebody who needs support. So today, I'm gonna to show you how Salesforce Education Cloud and Einstein can help identify struggling students early and get them help when they need it so they stay on track for graduation. Okay, let's say you're an academic advisor at a well-known university. The average university has 35 different systems for tracking a student's journey, so how do you connect all these dots here and follow their progress? Well, luckily, your university is using Salesforce Education Cloud. So all you need to do is look at their student record where all the data from all of those sources has been brought together to create a single holistic view. In this case, our student is Sophia, a freshman undergrad. You can see all the usual information about Sophia, her major and her grades, but it's also been configured with Model Builder in Data Cloud to show this predictive score, which updates in real time based on her behavior and records. This score is called her likelihood to persist and that's the important number because it means what are the chances she's going to graduate? Now, you're here because you were alerted that Sophia's score has dropped for a couple of reasons. Mostly that she hasn't logged into the learning management system often enough and she's also been missing some classes. Well, that's good to know, but we need to make it actionable and give the advisor some guidance on how to address the problem. So before you even meet with her, you can click on this field here and Einstein will analyze all the data and come up with much more useful information that's specific to her. It references a knowledge article with interventions that have been shown to work with Sophia's specific risk factors based on her real-time behavioral data. And it gives specific plans of action for helping Sophia, as well as resources that you can share with her. So if she needs mentoring or tutoring, you can set that up with her. Or if she needs social or emotional support, you can refer her to the right people. And all of this is personalized to her situation. And if you're wondering how it's personalized to this student in this specific circumstance, it's because this was already set up by an admin at your university using their institutional knowledge and resources to help students in this situation. Now, if we look under the hood here, we can see how an admin sets up the prompts that generate this for you and the other advisors at your school. Here they input all the best practices and different approaches that work for a student and the specific circumstances and recommended interventions for each situation. This triggers a flow where it retrieves Sophia's data from all the different sources and puts that in her student record along with those recommendations. But advisors don't have to worry about how that part works. What matters here is that you are able to get involved early and intervene in a personal way for Sophia's situation. And to proactively keep track of Sophia's progress in real time, you also have ready-to-go templates for a care plan so she continues to get support. Most importantly, Sophia realizes that she's not alone here and there really are people looking out for her. So thanks to Einstein, you were able to give Sophia the right advice at the right time and help her deal with this before it became a problem, all while saving a lot of your time in the process. And that is how your university can reduce its attrition rate and how Sophia stayed in school and graduated with honors. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. To learn more about how Salesforce can help you and your organization, click the link on the screen. I'll also drop a few resources in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.